Hello there, welcome to my channel on chemistry lessons. This is a BTEC Applied Science Unit 1, it's Learning Aim A1, and we're going to look at Lesson 1 on covalent bonding. So we're going to look at what a, a covalent bond actually is. First of all though, if you haven't already subscribed, why not? What you're waiting for, your support does make a real difference and it is appreciated. Thank you. So what is bonding then? Let's think about this word bonding. It's used a lot in chemistry. So a bond, it's just an attractive force that holds two things together. I've already covered ionic bonding, which was the electrostatic attraction between oppositely charged ions. If you haven't seen those videos, I suggest you check them out. But this is going to look at covalent bond. And the definition for a covalent bond is there in bold. It's the electrostatic attraction between a shared pair of electrons and two nuclei. Some more detail on covalent bonding then. We will not see any metals involved in covalent bonding. Okay, Metals are either involved in metallic bonding as elements, or if they're with a non-metal, it's ionic bonding. And you'll see those covered in other videos. When covalent bonds form, both of these non-metals or all these non-metal atoms must now have full outer shells. That's the goal in all bonding is to ensure that the outer shell is full. When two non-metals are bonded by a covalent bond, we call them molecules. And these molecules can either be classified as simple molecules or giant macromolecules. And there'll be more of this in future videos. Okay, so to have a look at a covalent bond, let's, let's take an example of chlorine, a chlorine molecule. Now chlorine is in group seven, it has the electron configuration 287. If we were to zoom in to the center of a chlorine atom, what we're going to find is the nucleus. Now the nucleus contains protons and neutrons, and this is the case for the nucleus or the nuclei of all atoms. The nucleus has a positive charge because of the protons. Neutrons don't have a charge. If we were to put two nuclei near each other, they'd actually repel because they're both positively charged. So nuclei, nuclei do not attract, they actually repel. However, if we put a pair of electrons between the two nuclei, those electrons are attracted to both nuclei and the nuclei are attracted to the electrons. So there's a mutual attraction here between the shared pair of electrons and the two nuclei. And that's the covalent bond. It's the electrostatic attraction between the shared pair of electrons and two nuclei. So let's zoom out a little bit more then, just go back out so we can see the atom. I'm gonna have a look at what the covalent bond in chlorine would actually look like. Okay, so what's going to happen is, the outer electrons on chlorine, it has seven. It needs one more to get that full outer shell. So that's where another chlorine comes along. And chlorine exists as Cl2. There's that sharing of that pair of electrons. And there's that shared pair and the attraction between the two nuclei. And that's what's holding these two atoms together, is that attraction between the shared pair of electrons and the two nuclei. Let's summarize the key points then. So a covalent bond forms when a pair of electrons is shared between non-metal atoms and they share these electrons to gain full outer shells. The definition that we use is electrostatic attraction between a shared pair of electrons and two nuclei. That's our definition. It must always result in all atoms having a full outer shell of electrons, which includes the shared pair and groups of atoms that are held together by covalent bonds are called molecules. The next video is going to cover covalent dot and cross diagrams. You will find a link in the description below. Thanks for watching.